Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Montana High Country 370BR. This is a great bonus room floor plan. The best thing about this is you get the rear living for yourself and you have a side room, whether you have a mother-in-law that camps or stays with you or children, this is a perfect floor plan. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. So right up front is your painted fiberglass front cap. Uh, very nice look to it. You'll also notice how it comes back right here. That's because uh, that allows for a sharper turn radius. So they cut this back so you can make those hard, uh, hard maneuvers with your pickup truck. Right here is a mirror as well as an LED light. This will aid you in backing up. Make sure you can align your hitch with the king pin much easier. Of course, LED light will aid in, uh, aid in any kind of night, give you that extra visibility. Let's take a look underneath here. We'll open up this front storage compartment. You can see how nice and clean it is. Your cable management is great. Then over to the side here is your battery box. You do have another door so you can go ahead and access that nice and easily. Vent up top and then an additional light over to the side. Right down here is your auto level. This coach is equipped with auto level. Uh, just touch a button, it will go ahead and do all the work for you. The other cool thing is it does have memory. So when you're done, just touch the button again. It will actually move the fifth wheel to where you dropped it off at. That way you can just back your truck right in. That definitely helps in uh, for setup and tear down time of the coach, just making your life a whole heck of a lot easier. So in this compartment here is one of our two propane tanks. You have a 30 pound on this side, then an identical compartment and tank on the other side for 60 pounds of propane. So we move over, we get into our uh, garage storage here. You can take a look, see that it does have a uh, covered hinge, which is nice. They don't have any kind of rust coming down. Also slam latch baggage doors work extremely well on the Montana. One of the other things they've done is they have gone to magnets, which are very nice. Uh, if you don't have a slide here, you know, normally they would have them on struts, but then you'll hit your head. So if you don't have a slide, use the magnets, put it all the way up. So you can take a look, see how large this storage is in here. Uh, a couple quick things, you will notice you have a light. This actually does have a motion sensor on there, which is really nice. TV hookups right here as well, if you want a TV up front. Now the reason this is such a big storage is because Montana utilizes drop frame construction. If you're not familiar with what that is, you can take a look back here. You can see the powder coated 10 inch I-beam that runs all the way up. And then what happens is they stop it here, they actually drop down and then they give you an 8 inch I-beam underneath. And so that's what they call drop frame, extremely strong and sturdy and gives you huge storage. Uh, so definitely a big advantage. Electrical outlet outside as well. Need to plug anything else in, there you go. Take a look up top, power awning, touch of a button rolls out, same thing to go uh, right back in. LED light strip underneath, and then you also have two outside speakers. So if you wanna sit out here and listen to music, you can do so. Now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, but that is Bluetooth capable. So if you wanna use your smartphone or tablet to connect to that, you can go ahead and do that as well. Frameless windows on the high country. Uh, big advantage of frameless windows. One, they look a lot nicer. Two, the seals are tucked behind the painted glass here. So less chance they're gonna get beat up by the elements, meaning you'll have more longevity in your windows. And three, because of the way they open, you can keep your frameless windows open while it's raining and still get a nice breeze coming through the coach. Getting into the 370s, pretty simple. You have four steps right here. The first one is nice and low, so if you have bad knees, you know you don't have to jump up into your coach. Also, the easy grab handle right here will assist you from the first step all the way in. Let's take a look at the tires here. Uh, you will notice they have aluminum rims. Those are very nice. Not only do they look great uh, going down the road and at the campsite, but also they help resist rust and corrosion. In between is the Moride 3000 suspension system. That suspension system uh, gives you three inches of travel, which helps eat a lot of the bumps in the road. It also utilizes wet bolts and brass bushings, uh, so it's gonna be uh, easier on the maintenance side of things too, going down the road, and it will last longer than your standard suspension systems out there. If you take a look underneath the slide right here, you will see the BAL tire carrier. This is really nice. When you have a slide system, you know, you don't wanna have to try to get underneath the fifth wheel and then fight to get the spare 
carrier tire down. With this, it's nice and easy. You drop the carrier down. It actually pulls out, so it can come uh, come further out this way, so you don't have to crawl underneath the fifth wheel uh, completely to get your spare tire. As you come around to the back side, a couple quick things. One is this right here. This is your tailgate storage system. This is uh, very, very nice for a couple different reasons. One, you can put a lot of stuff on here. So whether you're putting bikes on there, totes on there, you know, if you drop it down to get to your campsite, use it as a table, whatever you want has a lot of versatility. The other big important thing about this, a lot of people don't know this, but if you strap anything on the bumper, it will generally void your warranty with most manufacturers. Because this comes right from the manufacturer, you are good to go. The frame is built to withstand the torque uh, of putting a load back here, so that is definitely very beneficial. Also, you will see you have a rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the roof. Uh, the roof does have uh, your trusses 16 inches on center, 3 8 decking all the way across the top there. So uh, fully walkable, get up there, clean it off. Uh, you know, if it's sticks, pine cones, snow, whatever it may be, you can easily get right on up. Also, you'll see in the center, that is a housing for um, a backup camera. It is pre-wired, so if you want one, it's nice and easy to go ahead and install that. But all right, let's head around to the off-door side. We'll take a look at the convenience center real quick, and then we'll head on in. On the off-door side, we can take a look right in here. You'll see your convenience center. And that's exactly what this is. It's very convenient. They went ahead and centrally located everything. You have a light there in case you need to access it at night. You have your outside shower with hot and cold access, your cable hookups, your satellite hookups, battery disconnect, the valves for your, uh, for your drain. Everything is right there. Also, you'll notice right over here, this is your auto level system. I mentioned that uh, briefly earlier. So that's where your control's at. Again, just one touch of a button and you are good to go. All right, that wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Montana High Country 370BR. This particular model is in the fresco interior. Start off on our uh, door side slide here. So you'll see you have freestanding table and chairs, which is great. There's a leaf built into the table, the strap underneath, just undo the strap and then this leaf pulls out. That will of course give you more table room if you have additional guests. Four chairs do come with the unit. All four chairs also have storage here underneath and they do strap down so they don't move during travel. Theater seating right over here. Both of these do recline. Two cup holders as well as storage there in the center. And you'll see off to the side you have an electrical outlet that can be shared between the theater seating and the table and chair. So if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, you can go ahead and do so. Windows all the way around let in a ton of natural light during the day. Then you have LED lights here at night. A uh, quick thing about the windows, you will notice they have roller shades here. Roller shades are great. Uh, big improvement over your normal uh, cloth day and night shades or blinds. Don't have to worry about strings breaking, things like that. Let's take a look at the roof or the ceiling real quick rather. Uh, a couple of quick things I want to point out. One, again, LED lights all the way across. You'll see over above the cabinet, you do have some blue accent lighting you can turn on and off. Just kind of gives it a nice little look. Uh, right above your sink, above your main uh, cook area here, you do notice a big skylight. So you can go ahead and open that up, lets in a ton of natural light during the day. Then you have the two LEDs flanking it there at night. Max air fan right here, so if you want to open up some windows, turn that on, get a nice cross breeze coming through instead of turning on your AC, uh, that is a great option. Plus if you cook something that has a bad odor, that will definitely get it out very quickly. If you want to circulate the air inside the coach here, you can go ahead and use the ceiling fan. Or when we talk about AC, you will see you have uh, two air intakes here on the side. That's because there is a quiet, cool AC in the back. Quiet, cool AC is 30 to 35% quieter than your standard air conditioner, and it makes a huge difference in the living room. If you have guests over, this is where you'll be entertaining. If you want to sit back and relax and watch TV, it's nice to be able to do that without having to turn the TV way up or yell uh, to hear each other in the same room over the normal loud AC. Across the back is the tri-fold sofa. This is not only comfortable to sit in, it's very comfortable to sleep in as well. Preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. You don't have your bar on your back or have an air mattress that'll deflate on you in the middle of the night. On both sides, you see you have a little end table there. So if you need to set something, you know, if you have a drink or something you need to set down, you can do that. There's also electrical outlets on both sides of the couch as well. Take a look right up here, see the frosted glass, good storage going all the way along the top there. 
Then over across the way, we have our other slide, dual, dual opposing slides in this main room, which is why it is so nice and open. Uh, linoleum running all the way through here as well. You can see the ducted heat there in the floor. Uh, moving right over here to the entertainment area. So front and center here is your 40 inch TV. This is on a swing arm mount. So if you do want to take this out, you know, turn it towards the kitchen, something like that, you can go ahead and do so. Up top, additional storage right up there as well as your DVD player here if you want to watch a movie. Good storage up there too, I may add. It is nice and deep. Uh, then right below, this is your sound bar for great sound quality. This is Bluetooth capable. This is what also controls your speakers outside. Then underneath here is your fireplace. That is not only uh, great for aesthetics, it is also very functional. Big space heater. So the cool thing about that is if you don't want to run propane, you just want to take the chill off in this space, go ahead and turn that on. Generally you don't have to pay for electric, so that would be free heat. Right over here is our fridge and freezer combo. Uh, you can see you have French style doors for both the freezer and the refrigerator. 13 and a half cubic feet, so great space in there. This does come out, so if you have taller items, that's not an issue either. Uh, this does run off both propane and electric, which is very nice. So, um, you know, if you don't have shore power and you wanna run that off propane, that is not an issue. As so we move further into the kitchen, you'll see the beautiful uh, solid surface countertops they have in here. A lot of prep space in this floor plan. You can see you have this whole countertop, especially with your sink top covers here. You have this little bar area over here and the space here behind me. Uh, the sink, you can take a look. This is an undermount stainless, uh, stainless steel double bowl sink there. Covers for both sides. And you also have a pull-out faucet, which makes it nice and easy not only to, to do dishes, but if you have to fill up a bowl or something on the counter, uh, again, that can be very helpful. Let's take a look underneath real quick. A couple things you'll notice. One is you have a trash can right over here. The other, if you take a look, you can see this little half wall, and right next to that is your sink top cover. Uh, so what they've done is Montana has developed a very simple system and a place to go ahead and put your sink top covers there, because normally you just don't have a good place to put these. So a uh, simple fix like that definitely goes a long way. Right over here, you'll see a bank of drawers, bank of four drawers right there, full extension ball bearing drawers. You can go ahead and see that all the way down. And then additional storage right over here. You can see uh, plenty of room there. And of course the shelf that is built in. Electrical outlet right here. Personally, I think this is a perfect place to put a coffee maker, uh, but whatever you wanna put there, you can certainly do that. Controls for your max air fan, lights and thermostat are there too. Right up top, you can see additional pantry storage. And then right over here, um, up top, a little bit of storage above your microwave. This is an oversized 30 inch microwave, so nice and big there, uh, which is great. So if you have larger items, you can go ahead and put them in there, that is not a problem. Stainless steel, which of course uh, blends in with your refrigerator and also the cooktop. Additional outlet right down here, uh, right in that decorative backsplash there. The cooktop is now uh, recessed, and you can see it has this glass cover on there. Folds back nice and easy, just like so. Three burner cooktop, the front one is high output. Uh, Atwood cooktop and oven, you can see the oven there. Underneath, some additional storage, and a little more right over here to the side. So right outside the kitchen and before you go up the steps is the bonus room. Let's go ahead and come on in, take a look here. Uh, you have a large slide out, which is great. And as I mentioned, this is, this is really nice for a couple different reasons. This is a very versatile space. So if you're planning on living in a coach, this can be really nice to have your own separate areas. So, you know, one of you can be out in the main living area, the other one here in the bonus room or in the bedroom, uh, or if you have kids, because that way they get this space and you still have the beautiful rear living. So right up here is a bunk, 250 pound weight limit, window both top and bottom. This does lift up and lock into place so that way you don't have to worry about hitting your head while you're here on the couch. Uh, this also folds down into a bed. You can see right here it's jackknife style so it just drops right down. Cool thing about jackknife is that means you have great storage here underneath so you can go ahead and put bedding, pillows, things like that under there. 
Then right here is an entertainment center. Um, you know, you have storage here up top as well as down below. So, you know, that way if you have clothes, go ahead and fold the clothes up, put them in there. Or again, if you're using it more as like a, you know, just a den area, you can put DVDs or whatever else you want in there. 32 inch TV right here and an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in auxiliary equipment like DVD player, gaming console, you can go ahead and do that as well. All right. Let's head on out, we'll take a look, uh, we'll go up the stairs, take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. The bathroom of the 370 has a pivot door, that way it is nice and easy to enter from either side. When you go into the bathroom, you will notice your foot flush lever toilet here that is porcelain, so it's nice and easy to clean. Up above that, you have robe hooks, so you have a place to hang your towels or your robes, of course. And then over to the side of that is a large linen closet, plenty of room for towels and all your other bathroom accessories. Right here's a one piece residential shower. You'll see a nice big seat, great shelving in there as well. Tri slide glass door, a hand wand, and a huge skylight up top. Then outside of that is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it, your sink top and vanity, and additional storage down below. The bedroom with the 370 features a king size bed. And you also have great storage here underneath, which is very easy to access thanks to the struts on both sides. Up front, of course, is your headboard. It's uh, uh, nice because it is padded, so if you want to sit up against it, read a book, you can do so. LED lights underneath the slide help you in reading at night as well. You can see you have windows on both sides for a cross breeze. Uh, for the record, every window in the, the 370 does open. You also have shelves there underneath the window. And you can see you have a couple of USB ports to charge any devices there. And as well, uh, you also have a regular plug-in. So if you have a CPAP machine or something else you need to plug in, you can do that too. Right up front here in the nose is your wardrobe. Up top you have a light, this is also on a motion sensor which is pretty nice. Uh, shelving across the top, big hanging rod all the way across there too. The other thing I like about this wardrobe, it does have washer and dryer prep and they're on opposite sides of the wardrobe. So that way you don't have to have a combo unit, you can have two separate units, which if you have experience with a washer and dryer and an RV, uh, having separate units is definitely preferable over the combo unit. Right here is your uh, big window, roller shade. Again, this does open too. Underneath you have this bench here so you can sit down if you need to put some socks on. And this does lift up, you can see the nut there so you can take your dirty clothes, toss it right in. 32 inch TV here at the foot of the bed, it is framed all the way around. And you have an electrical outlet underneath so if you need to plug in any auxiliary equipment, you can do so. You have two large drawers here as well. You can see they are nice and deep. So that way if you have, uh, you know, again, folded clothes you want to put in there, you can go ahead and do that. Last thing I want to talk about is this right here. Uh, you do have a second AC in this coach. It is a larger coach. So you do want the second one to make sure it stays nice and cool in here. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Now, again, this is a 2017 uh, Keystone Montana High Country 370BR. This is a very versatile floor plan. It's nice having that extra bonus room. Uh, definitely one you want to come take a look at. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.